Welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my brother Bryson. Hello. My father Gary. Hello. And my mother Shelly. Hi. Today we're going to be chit chatting about the latest weekly peak where we built a wall <laughs> out of bottles, building, and Blue. then carpet. Carpet, Garen and we did some carpeting, which was super exciting. Azalea installed it. Oh, and yes. trim. Don't forget about the trim around yes. the carpet. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and of course, Azalea, the baby. And Azalea. And yes. Azalea. Honestly, the only thing we can remember <laughs> from the show is Azalea, but you know, that's beside the point. She's <laughs> now not a baby anymore. She's kind of more toddlerish almost. Well, she mm. is a toddling around. That is her certain. Yeah, yeah. she's not walking that I know yet. of yet. I feel so like she's close. she's like she's getting there. Yeah. She's building her muscles. Whoa. She's going to be like running around really well, soon. Well, she's only got a month and a half to get moving because she's going to have to help mom with the new baby. That's so. true. Mm. That's true. That's she's true. got diapers to help change, beds to help make. That's yep. right. There's a lot to do Way as the oldest. <laughs> okay. So, not that I ever did any of those things. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. The pig enjoys laying in front of, as a doormat, in mm-hmm. front of our door there. Mm-hmm. And whenever you step over him, he protests yeah. He's like, <laughs> like if you standing here, why are you? No, we have to get through <laughs> here. Anyway, we had a little fun shot of him protesting to us, stepping over him. Yes, but mom, you, you, uh, maybe this inspired well, yeah, this dream I, that I you had. I think it did inspire. I had this, <laughs> I had this dream that uh, I looked out in the courtyard, and there was all these holes, like three foot deep, and you know, a couple feet wide, and the dogs were digging, and the pig was digging, and I looked over at Gary, and I'm like, Gary. The pigs and the dogs, they're just like tearing up the courtyard. Uh, And he's like, you know, being the manly man that he is. Oh, manly man. (laughs) Did my manly man walk? (laughs) He goes busting out there and he starts getting after the pig because the pig is leading the dogs in my dream. I'm thinking, oh, be careful, Gary. The the pig might bite you. He might bite you. Gary plops down the ground and the pig is, you know, like he does, lays on his side and he starts spinning. Spinning him and spinning him and spinning. He's just spinning like this. I'm thinking, oh, he's going to get bit. And the pig just kind of got up and got a wobble off. And that was, I woke up laughing. I you did, Aww. literally. Woke up laughing. It woke me up. My laughter woke me up. Yeah, so that was my entertaining dream. It was, it was you know, funny. the pig would probably enjoy that. I don't know. It was really a spinny thing. I don't I don't think he would. <laughs> but we would never spin the pig, by no, the way. But. No spinning the pig. No, only in mom's dreams. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think one of the questions that we got quite a bit. The comment that comes in through the sky or yes, is this a comment that... always that... a question. Comment. Well, you know, it does come through the sky. Comment. That, you know. Comment or comment. Comments come from Ooh, uh, other you know, people named Sky. Comment. Well, you know, there is a mint. So comment. Are you coming towards mint? <laughs> 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 or is the mint coming towards you, actually? <laughs> Bree, what were okay. you saying, Bree? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was such an important tangent. Something. I'm really glad we stopped for it. No, okay. The crockpot that we placed oh, in the oh, walls oh, now. Okay. We placed that crockpot in the walls, and we we're planning on putting little soap dishes in there. Carrie Boyles said, I had the exact same crockpot. I loved it so much. I bought one for my mom and for my sister like 20 years ago. My mom still has hers, LOL. Aww. <laughs> Which is so awesome. Now, we did have some people recommending some stuff that we could do for the back side of the crock pot. Patty A said, you should create a mosaic in the back of the crock pot with colorful tile bits. Uh, I got so excited when I read uh, that comment. And I think I, there was a, even a couple more comments kind of saying the same thing where, right. you know, you have the round pot that's in there. And then we've got the little soap dish that's in there. So I'm going to have these areas. And what I understood it to be is those little bubble rocks, little marbles, flattened mm-hmm. marbles yeah. all through there. I love that idea. We it's are definitely a- going to do that. Mm-hmm. And on the back side, maybe we'll do something like that you've been wanting to do some broken glass maybe we'll do broken glass on the back side but definitely the bubbles i think that's just a fabulous idea because otherwise there's going to be like you know just the yeah the stucco there all gray so mm-hmm. that's gonna i'm excited about that excellent yes. thank you thank you for that idea yeah, thank that's you patty great. that was awesome and for those that recommended stuff it was so fun to read through those yeah like those suggestions i was really glad they're great to have that Launching it. pads that rocketed us into other things. Oh, you don't Sorry. want to get me started was on it rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, or airplanes? I was at airplanes. Okay, oh, anyway. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> okay. I will not say the word. <laughs> I won't do it. <laughs> okay, Phyllis Sten said Bryson is one hundred percent right. 
That crockpot design is straight out of the 90s. No question about it. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you notice, the, I think the pot inside is green. And that's out at the goat pin. That's their little water dish. So it's actually the just the mm. heating element part that we're oh, using. Oh, the heating element. Oh, mm-hmm. Is that where that came from? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, just a reference to the the planer kind of like a wood planer uh, from the beginning before we even started I was like guys I cannot mention planes mm. at all can't get started on them because it's been my new thing recently I've been doing a lot of research on them I thought you were going to bring up the na- new baby goats <gasps> yeah we got new baby goats we're going to go out there filming them today yeah. three little cuties two girls and a boy mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. exciting and very they awesome. are cute very spotted very super very kids, colorful but, yeah very yeah. colorful mm-hmm Okay, so still on the crock pot here. Uh, Louise SCA says, will shampoo be short enough to fit in that pot? And I think both the crock pot and the regular pot, those are just going to be for bar soap, I'm guessing, because I don't think you'd be tall enough to put actual it, it might be. Maybe. I mean, that crock pot is, I would say, you know, it's it's that tall. Yeah. Well, I'll be taking some. I know, milk. it's going to be. So a... maybe, you know, maybe a shorter shampoo should fit in there. Or we and then what was the other? Oh, the other bottles. one's a big pot, too. Mm-hmm. You, yeah, maybe. I think we'll be able to get shampoos in there. Maybe not the tall ones. I, I kind ones. of think, though, that we made some shower Marvel caddies. Bottles. If you remember in previous oh, yeah. videos, yeah. we made some a couple of shower caddies. And more than likely, those will find their way well, back into the shower. I'm guessing. I don't yeah, know. that's right. we got to get hangers for those. Good point. Yeah, I do have to ask that question question okay we know what a shower caddy is but why is it called a shower caddy is it because someone built a little shelf in their shower and the cat like laid on there all the time no, or caddies. something it's with a d C-A-D-D. oh caddies yeah it's a good, i don't caddy, know I, have yeah, to look that, up. that does it caddy your soap <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I like that one. Let's go. That there. was a solid. That was solid, Bryson. I did. I appreciate that. Okay. Before we move off of the wall here, Jan Anderson says, "Are you putting bags on top of the bottles like the other walls?" I believe so. I believe that's the plan. Yeah. What we're gonna do now? Of- you know, this whole idea with the rocks and the bottles and the bags is all new to us, and we're really having a lot of fun doing it. And uh, now, what we're gonna do in one little second we're going to put a few rocks back over the top because we got a, probably a metal turtle that'll sit on there just like the, we got the frog on the lily pad on the other side. And then we'll go back to bags. And then at some point, and I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work yet, but we have brown bottles that'll be making a mountainscape through there too. And then where that mountain comes together will be a series of different shades of yellow and orange, a sun made out of bottles. And there'll be yellows and oranges. And so we'll have that over the top. This is going to be something very new for us. And, yeah, and all fun. three. All th- we yeah. need to use all three, I guess, all two. All three, you know, because the rocks too. Yeah. All three of those materials, which is kind of fun. I just thought of something decorative we could do out there when it's all said and done. You could do bottle lights. Like a string of bottle lights that go around the wall yeah. or even over the top yes. a little bit. And they're bottle, glass bottle outdoor lights. And we yes. can actually plug them into the power for the hot tub. I wonder if we can put a switch in there we'll somewhere. There. We can put a switch in there. We could yeah, feed a wire similar to the bottles that were made for us, the chimes. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. put, but put lights in them. Put lights in them. That'd be so cute. So you just cute. get some string lights and somehow get them fit into the bottle. Yeah. And do different colored bottles. Yeah, there's a there's know, a tree there. Ones. So you could really hang them from the tree, you know, almost, and so that it's more centered too. Yeah, and we th- we like the nighttime in the summertime. It's fun yeah. to shower mm-hmm. at night. You do need the lights. So that's mm-hmm. a great idea. That is a great be idea. be nice to have out there. Well, Moving on from the wall here, and I believe this is to Garen and Ellie, but we'll answer, of course. But Marlene Jones asks, but you covered up the vent in the bedroom. Don't you need it? Was it for heat? I think that was their old system, wasn't it, Dad? Yeah, it was um, their old system. Yeah, so they're no longer in use. Their old heating and cooling system. I know that was a question that came up quite a bit, which is understandable because it looks like you're covering up things that need to be used. So. <laughs> and the carpet goes, <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I was thinking you could cover it up to get more pressure in other rooms. If you wanted more airflow in other rooms, you cover up rooms you're not using just to get that air pressure for other rooms. Done, done, done. That'd be, be awesome. Probably not a very good way of doing it, but know. that's beside the point. <laughs> I use the carpet. You know, when I think of something to cork something up, <laughs> Carpet is not the first material I think of, <laughs> but, but I appreciate it. <laughs> it is an idea. It is an idea. I you agree. Know, that'd be a weird cooling and heating system. It like comes up through the carpet, has a bunch of holes in the floor, and it like works up through the carpet. You like stand there in your socks and you're like toasty warm. Oh, well, that's really fun. Heating systems like that. I but through carpet? Angry. But actually blowing air through no, it's carpet. Not blowing air. They have. You oh, can play radiant. hockey on it. Radiant, radiant. heat. Yeah, that's true. You know, air hockey. <laughs> 
<laughs> Actually, right the you know what? <laughs> you know what would be brilliant? You build a hockey game that connects to your air vent. <laughs> it pulls the air through your air vent so you can play hockey. <laughs> air hockey. It, gets, I, it turns off and then it goes, <laughs> everything stops. You have to wait 20 minutes for it to come back up. <laughs> I have to tell I have to tell a quick story about carpet. I thought it was so genius. I think I was less than 10 years old. And I was like, you know, it'd be super cool if you had a carpet that you had to mow instead of vacuum and it like grew and then you would <laughs> you would cut it instead of vacuum it. I like it. I was like, oh, that I just thought that was genius. <laughs> Isn't that like grass? Yeah, well, yes, that's that house. is what that is what my mind But in put. the house? Yes. But she thought it could be oh. nylon growing. I, I have no idea, actually, the substance. I didn't quite get that far. I just thought it would be a cool concept in general. <laughs> you could start changing the color of your carpet. Like, you know? yeah, yeah. And you just feed in the color. plastic somewhere, whatever you want your new carpet color to be, and it just grows it, and then you just cut the top off. No. And you have new carpet. <laughs> <laughs> If you stain it, it wouldn't matter. You, you just know, you throw it, it and patterns. cut it off. You know, you could do it in patterns. You just, have oh, yeah. Football yeah. symbols, baseball. Every week you just have a new one. You just keep symbols. cutting off the top. You we know? can do pictures of ourselves on the floor <laughs> growing up and just mow it down, get just to the next one. mow it down. <laughs> telling you, man. It's a million dollar idea. Right there. Somebody's going to go with that one, I tell you. <laughs> oh, 10 year old me would be so thrilled. Okay. You know, it would be anyway. hilarious. Someone is, is staying the night there, right? And the next morning is totally different yeah, carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, it would be such a bummer if you left for a week and you came back and it was like overgrown you're like wading through your carpet to get to your <laughs> table you know <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Whoops. You're going to hire a kid to come over and mow your yeah, carpet. Mow your carpet. You're, on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're on vacation. I'm telling you, man. It's genius. Oh, okay, I have this hat in my pocket. Out of my pocket, on my lap, and I've had it here the whole time. And and the reason is, this is one of my hats. Oops, don't go anywhere. That has a hole in the top for your hair to go through. Andrew Cacker says, Bree, I like your hats that allow your hair to come through. Where did you get those? Go stretch it out. Oh man, oh. <laughs> big old man getting in there. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I've noticed these guys put on our headphones and they never fit the same. <laughs> the big noggins in there. Sorry. Sorry. That was wait, a side wait. tangent. Oh, that was yeah. a side that tangent. Did I, I didn't stretch it too bad, did I? No, 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 you didn't. Oh. You're fine. But this, okay, okay so sorry. then I asked Adelie because I thought, oh, she'd know what the names of these hats are. And so she Googled it. And apparently they're called. Adelie, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> Adelie, what is it called? <laughs> what is it? A bun hat? It's a bun hat. Or hat with hat hole for bun. There we go. <laughs> According to Adley. Thank you, Adley. Okay. Yes, thank so you. it's the it's a bun hat. And where did I get it? I got this for my birthday. A birthday Christmas, I think. Uh, Ellie really likes this brand of hats, like CC, I'm not sure. They don't sponsor us, but I mean anyway. Um, <laughs> but um, I, really I mean if like you do hats. want to <laughs> we love the beanie. <laughs> oh wink wink. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but I really, I really do like these hats and bun, bun hats. So MV said, I have a question on the flooring in the Muse art room. Has the printed foam vinyl flooring pads held up so far? Uh, they're very curious. Oh, you're looking to me. I, I am. Cause yeah, you, I would say they're holding up very good. I like to sweep them fairly often because if you bring rocks and stuff on the bottom of your shoes and they fall and you don't sweep up, those will start to embed in the floor. And so I like to make sure that that's all swept up pretty regularly. I'd say that's probably, and and we're still having the problem with the bowing and the heat. So we probably should have glued that down. We were trying Mm -hmm. to get away with not doing it because what happens is if we want to move in a drum set or something that's going to get into the floor, we want to, we pull the mats up so that it can sit on the wood and not ruin the mats. So we like the flexibility being able to put them together. And, and in the winter, they're fine. But when the summer heat comes, they start to bow up. Mm-hmm. So that's a couple of the issues we've had with it. But that's as far right. as holding up, we've not replaced any of them. They're all in good mm-hmm. shape mm-hmm. and, and hold, doing good. You, you know, now that I think about it, if we would have put them in during the summer heat, <laughs> we would have not had a problem. Because they would have just shrink. Right. And they wouldn't, you know, that, I don't think shrinking would hurt it, but it's the swelling that causes oh, it to bow up. Oh, I never thought of that. So if we yeah. would have put them in during that, I don't know when we put them in, though. I don't, don't know it if it was the cold. Was it, was it summer? It may have been summer when we put them in, but if we would have put them in a really hot day, chose like the hottest day of the year to put them in. Uh, it was winterish. I remember finishing that floor pretty quick. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've been really nice. I've, but they, they're fun to walk yeah, on and stuff yeah. like. Yeah. So now what we're doing is, you know, like those black mats you get like at the feed store. Some of them are real thick, and you can get some thinner. We're laying them around in various places on top of it, so that we can put our musical instruments on that, and it doesn't mm-hmm. go into the foam floor. And that's working really good. It's fun to walk on because you got that little cush. Oh, uh, you know, when you step on those sets. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's very soft. Nice. Yeah, it's fun. I was thinking it'd be a good yoga floor if yeah. you want to do yoga or, or, floor or, or taking like, naps. I've yeah, taken naps like on the floor. Or teach a ninja class or something. I don't know. Ninja? Like a dojo? <laughs> good yeah. dojo flooring? Yeah, we know ninja stuff. Ninja? <laughs> no, I Did don't. you just say for ninja lessons? Yeah, yeah. yeah. ninja lessons. Uh, <laughs> you know. Or like like, Release your inner ninja. Come, was it come over to my studio. I'll Con- teach you ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your own nunchucks, though. <laughs> what am I trying to? <laughs> we no, don't karate. Do... That's what I was trying to think of. Karate. We don't it's do that totally whole the same belt thing. system, but we have really nice headbands. Headbands <laughs> and, and, and bun. And hat. bun hats. And <laughs> or hat with hole for bun hats. Also. <laughs> oh, goodness. And eventually, when you're done with the class, you get a ninja star. You get a there ninja you star. <laughs> All right. 3D printed. A very dull one. <laughs> <laughs> for use your own with, safety use with caution wouldn't recommend playing with it been kind of dangerous around here okay, anyway. that's why we had to dole them <laughs> they're now made out of foam <laughs> from the floor from the floor <laughs> it's a bit cut up but it still works okay let's go we killed those ones literally it's yeah. dead it's dead okay <laughs> Kathy Riggs said so what has Gary been up to while the rest of you have been finishing the outside shower area. Oh. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, did you want to show off? The floor, taking a nap. <laughs> no. <We're> working. <laughs> no, no, no. No wonder no. we couldn't find him. He was blending into the floor. That cushion was been, softening him into the floor. I have been working on two things. The um, bathroom, to the master, a little bit. But primarily, I've been building a guitar. So. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's a gorgeous that guitar. That soon soon come out yes that did you want to show it off at all no. or is it no, not we yet don't want anybody not yet to see it. it's, no, it's ever, to be, ever oh we got it's for dad's eyes oh. and dad's eyes only yeah. we'll show the video but no end shots that's for that's <laughs> for dad coming. to see only yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll soon see it and be sick of it so. <laughs> no 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 it's really yeah, cool dad's, it's not awesome dad's built his already we were waiting for him to kind of you know work out all the kinks so anything that went wrong was on his guitar and now we're going to work on ours, me and Bree, probably. Yeah, I soon. think where that theory kind of breaks down, the more you think about it, is that we're all each doing something completely different. So um, we're each, you know, but oh, at shoot. that being said, not though, think about we're that. all assembling a guitar. And that seemed to be one of the easiest parts was the assembly almost. In a, These are The three of them oh. got guitar kits, if oh, you're yes. wondering what they're oh, talking yeah. about. Sorry. And they're yeah. putting those kits together yeah. and designing, you know, how they want this part of the guitar to look. Body. Yeah, the, the body. Yeah. The body. So I think we've talked about that before because I know you've talked about your electricity thing. Oh, yeah. Yes, the last we did. We have That's mentioned. Three weeks in a row, this is our <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I keep, I keep going, oh, oh so I want to say because there's more stuff that happens Nothing. each time. <laughs> Wait, honestly, I keep forgetting. Help now and then. I'm in yeah. Oh, you do. You do. Help. And you do, you've been doing a lot of filming too, so yeah. that helps a lot. Yeah, definitely. That nice, that nice hand. Okay, well, that is all of the comments that we have here today. Before we end, though, I just wanted to give a thank you to our Patreon supporters. And if you are interested in supporting us, even just a buck is helpful. If you would like to consider that, the link to our Patreon will be down there. Thank you, too, for commenting and for liking, for subscribing, for viewing. We so appreciate you being here and all the wonderful ideas. They always improve everything that we do. The 20% off sale that's going on on our shop goes through today. Monday. I guess, mm-hmm. according to Spreadshirt, they said that if you order today, it will get there in time for Valentine's Day. And we happen to have a little Valentine's Day a design. It's called Would You Be Mine? Yes. And if you'd like to get heart. this little wooden heart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you have a fellow homesteader, farmer, person, or just woodworker. person, a woodworker in general, yeah. or somebody that might like something more rustic, this this just might be the design for you. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> Well, we really appreciate you hanging out with us, being a part of the conversation, being a part of the family. And we will catch you on Friday for that weekly peek. Absolutely. Bye. 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 Bye.